Uh, there's a question here from uh, James Jarvis. Um, how, how does the trading of individual holdings work for an SMA, um, given that holdings are less than parcel size? Yep. So there's there's a there's a number of uh, um, routes that uh, that I, and I, I only can talk to, uh, on Mason Stevens' behalf. Uh, there's a number of routes that, that we take. Uh, uh, you know, we we essentially can go to the market, uh, and we can trade uh, we can trade on an aggregate level in terms of our client demand. So this, the the great thing about a separately managed account versus something like an individually managed account is that separately managed account every every investor has the same portfolio. So for, from a portfolio manager's perspective, that's a scalable solution in its own right. So if we wanted to change one of the positions within the fixed income portfolio, we can then aggregate those positions and then go to market and, then, and, and bid for institutional size parcels, which tend to be greater than $500,000 because AustraClear requires you to settle through that. If we don't have sufficient parcel size, um, we can go to other parts of our, our network in terms of um, who is holding that bond uh, and see what that bond means to their portfolio. And if, if that, that investor within our network wants to sell that, that parcel or a, a party of our investors, uh, that we, we can purchase off them internally. Uh, and then finally, um, you know, we, we support a, a, a portfolio of, of bonds on our own balance sheet also that can help facilitate flow.